kutenda mwari panguba ino nekuti mbwa mzake zino gani kusika peri tawana nyasha kutisi muna mata wadikani tawuya kusotuka shokura mwari hali dula uti gamichire mtuka miliwe kereke ni AFM baba president chiyangwa na amani mtenziri wawo baba chinyemba na amani mnyori mkuru mma ofisi kereke baba nila na amani chinoda kutichitende mwari shukuru pa mwari ino ya kadai Jona kutu kukokei, kuti mwana mwe chitela, shuna ifangeli, chuya, chikara pasi, chibosia shuesa shawuru wita, na kutawula wita shunisho, upenyu, panato, e, upenyu, uno kosha, kufura, shuma shuesa, balikani. Maka tela, fangeli mwuri kwa mwuri ipo, kwa nuna kukumbilisa ine mwaya wa mwari. Daiza, kana pane mwuri alipanze, kana mwuri mwuri kana pane mwuri alipanze, chibu daiza manji, au ye kusonzwa, shokura mwari. Chibuye tijike, chibwa cha upenyu, Chimwa chino kufura, chimwa chimwa cheze, chao kafunde pa nika hino, chikutuwa kwa nilani. Tamira chimwa chino shamisa, iye shino. Nesi kala jeso, chino kutaiza, kuti chizikama, katikikama, garapa uripako, utere ifangeli ya mngari. Mwana kune kwa chikisho, kanaka, na mshumira kasaru zika. Wanilu wanilu kusire ipa kwenye kadai, our pastor, overseer ya Makarich, from Harare West Province, AFM. Na kutitushke pa nino na mata kuna mngari, kumbire nyasha za mngari, kutitikipa zire pa tunotu kwa fangeli. Ndekna matei. Baba mustela jesu tinokutenda eno kutima kanaka. Tinokutenda eno kutima no shamisa. Umambo ne simba. Ne uchene ne kubunya dejo enyu. Nili ndenyu. Kuna mashwa ndekwe enyu. Kutenda wa ndekwe enyu kristu wa mwani. Shogore enyu. Shogore enyu. Shogore enyu. Kuti muna harame ne chikwa bezi. Asine shogore enyu wa mwuromu wa mwani. Ndeo shakaku na kuntuwa ee. Shino baba. Kumbila shogore enyu wa mwuromu wa enyu. Mwanda wenyu shaku ya mwanda shabaka msarurira. Taura ina e baba. Muti zise na kutaura. Na kuti tseura. Se shamono oda. Kutza istara yu pangwa ene kadai. Katenda na kutimuro shabisa. Muzi itara jista na mata. Amen. My salutation tonight goes to our father, our visionary, the president of the AFM in Zimbabwe, Reverend C. Chiangwa. Members of the presidium, overseer E. Chinyemba, deputy president, Dr. Nathan Nira, general secretary, elder Shepard Sebata, our administrator. I salute also members of the Apostolic Council, pastors and your spouses, the entire AFM membership, and all our viewers and listeners from across the globe. I salute you all. Special acknowledgement goes to our facilitator of this evening's meeting, who is none other than our very own overseer, M. Mapranga, our overseer for Midland South Province. We are having a conference, and it is the conference about the upper room. It is the upper room convention. The theme of our conference is waiting for the promise with one accord. May I take the privilege as given to us by our fathers and the latitude to also bring in uh, the name or title to my preaching tonight. I'm going to be talking about kingdom dressing. Kingdom dressing. And our reading is going to come from the book of Acts Chapter number 1, verse number 4, verse number 5, and verse number 8. We are also going to take our second reading from the book of Luke, chapter number 24, and verse number 49. The book of Acts, chapter number 1, verse number 8, reads, But... In fact, let me start from verse number 4, and then I'll do verse number 5, and then verse number 8. Verse number 4 reads, And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You have heard from me, for John truly 
baptized with water. But you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. And I'm going to read verse number 8. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Please turn with me to Luke chapter number 24 verse number 49. And verse number 49, the Bible reads, Behold, I send the promise of my Father. Behold, I send. Take note of that word. Send. I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued. Until you are endured with power from on high. May God bless the reading of his word. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are privileged tonight to talk about kingdom dressing. I want you to work with me as I build my case. I want you to work with me as we get somewhere before we close this meeting tonight. Now, you will appreciate that the word kingdom has to do with rule. It has to do with government or domain. But I also want to bring in the Greek meaning of the word kingdom, which is basileia. Now, I am talking about kingdom dressing, which means we are talking about dressing of the kingdom. The word dress from the Greek, the word dress is forema, which means attire, robe, garment, or coat. And therefore, when we put the two words together, because the word dress can also mean clothing. When we talk about kingdom clothing, in the Greek, we are talking about basileia and masia. Now, I want us to look at our lives today. There are so many nations, there are so many countries that observe national dress. Talk of the Arabs. You don't need to struggle to identify somebody who is an Arab. You also don't need to, uh, to struggle to identify somebody who is Indian. They are known by their national dress. But in those countries and governments, the governments has, have got departments where you find like the Department of Health, where nurses dress in a certain way. You also want to look at doctors. They put on those white coats. I want to bring to your attention the police. Police officers, particularly those that work in the traffic department. You will notice that they have reflective sleeves and that attire, that clothing, that dressing communicates something to you. I also am interested in what in the Zimbabwean context, the guys that we call the military police, you know, when you look at them, you don't, you, you can almost see that they are part of the military but they are called military police. And you quickly identify them different from the other uh, soldiers by their red barrets. And I want you to work with me. Now, when we come to the Bible, I want to start with the book of Luke, chapter number 24 and verse number 33. We begin to see that there are two men that are leaving Jerusalem and going to a mouse. And these two men, their eyes are opened as Jesus blesses bread and gives it to them. Work with me now. As their eyes are opened, what 
makes me to wonder is that these guys they had the mission they had the reason why they went to a mouse but the moment their eyes were opened your bible says in the very same hour they returned to jerusalem and i'm asking them did you finish all the business that you had traveled to emmaus for they found when they got to jerusalem the 11 because remember judas is already dead they are the 11 gathered in a room and there are other members in with them in that room the two men from a mouse they told the 11 and company about what had transpired on the way and the breaking of bread as jesus blessed it they narrated their story and while they were narrating their story and jesus appears in that room unannounced and when jesus arrives your bible says both those that 11 and all the people in the room they were terrified and they were afraid work with me now and they supposed that it was not jesus but a ghost verse number 38 then says and Jesus says unto them, Why are you troubled? Why do you, why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Why do doubt, why does doubt arise in your thoughts? Do not be troubled. And I want to challenge those that are under the sound of my voice. Whatever is happening in your life, don't be troubled. Whatever situation you are facing, don't be troubled. And the Bible says, he said to them, behold my hands. I want you to prove that I am not a spirit, but I am Jesus. And he said to them, can I have something to eat? They gave him broiled fish and honeycomb, and he ate with them. Now, as he did that, the Bible says that he started to talk to them about the Old Testament scriptures and he revealed to them about himself and what had happened. And their eyes were opened. May I suggest to you, because we are living in a time, we are in the days of Pentecost, we are in the upper room as I speak, I want you to begin to tell yourself that as we go through the Pentecost, your eyes are going to be opened. There are things that you have been worried about, there are things that are not moving well in your life, but I want you to know that God is about to open your eyes. Because Jesus is about to do something. And then verse number 49, Jesus, Jesus says, And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, and tarry in Jerusalem until you are ensured. Take note of that word. We are about to take off now. Until you are ensured with power from on high. Acts chapter number 1 verse 8 but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And you shall be witnesses. You shall be ambassadors. You shall be representatives, not of the human kingdom or governments, but you shall be witnesses of the kingdom of God. You shall be witnesses of me, both in Jerusalem, in Judea, and in Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the world. Verse number 51, work with me. And he led them out as far as Bethany and lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it, be, it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried, my God. Hey, watch this now. Jesus is talking to them in the room and he takes them out. He goes to Bethany. As he is in Bethany, the Bible says he started to bless them. He started to pray for them. While he is doing that, the Bible says, and he was parted from them. What does it mean? Jesus, remember, he still carries the human body. Remember, Jesus is still human. But while he is 
talking to them, blessing them. The Bible says he is carried away. And I want to ask you, what is the power? What was the vehicle that carried Jesus from the disciples? We are talking about Pentecost. When it is time for Pentecost, supernatural things happen. When we are talking about Pentecost, extraordinary things happen. While they are talking to him, some power comes and carries him away. I want to challenge men and women of God that there is a power that carries people. There is power that will make you to separate from the human to the supernatural. Work with me now. The Bible says, and he was parted. He was carried. Where is Jesus going? When he is lifted up, where is Jesus going? And I want you to know, he is going back to where he came from. And that is heaven. And I want you to know that this is the same place that sent Jesus to planet earth. And when he was sent to planet earth, miracles, signs, and wonders happened on planet earth. And even during the time of Pentecost, I want you to know why is Jesus going to heaven? Why is Jesus parted from the people that were with him? He's being separated. And I want you to know Pentecost has a habit of separating people. It is the time now for that we be separated. It is time now that we go to a place. May I challenge believers, men and women of God, position yourself strategically for the outpouring of the Spirit. Position yourself for what God is about to do. Position yourself for God is about to release something. My good Lord, Jesus goes to heaven. He leaves the disciples here. And my God, I want you to work with me. The Bible says, and I will send. The word send means to dispatch. The word send means to arrange delivery. And I'm here to tell you, men and women of God, in this time and season, those that have not received the power of the Holy Ghost. There is a delivery coming. There is a dispatch coming. Something supernatural is about to happen. Something supernatural. Why did Jesus not give the disciples the Holy Ghost? Why did Jesus not give the disciples when he was still here? The Bible says he went back. What does that mean? Where he went back, it is the sending authority. When he went back to heaven, he dispatched. He had to arrange a delivery. Mankind, you are blessed. There is a delivery coming. Mankind, you are blessed. There is a delivery on the way. Why don't we, as apostolic faith mission, and the believers in the whole world, why don't we prepare? There is a delivery coming. The days of Pentecost, they are days of delivery. The days of Pentecost, they are the days of receiving. The days of Pentecost, they are the days of power. The days of Pentecost, they are the days of the supernatural. The days of the Pentecost, they are the days of the extraordinary. I want men and women of God. I want you to know the Bible says he is going to send. But as at a tomb, and at the Garai, but Jerusalem. Why Jerusalem? But Jerusalem, no percent in Jerusalem, the center of worship. In Jerusalem, the center of worship of God. I want you to know they must tarry. Waiting is not easy. But the Lord is about to do something. Waiting is not easy. But the Lord is dispatching something. Waiting is not easy. But wait, my brother. He is delivering it to you. Wait, church of God. He is delivering it to you. Wait, the church of God. Pentecost is on the way. Wait, the church of God. The Lord is about to do something. I feel some anointing here. The Bible says, because where Jesus went, he went to heaven. But I want you to appreciate that the disciples, the, what they were before Jesus came, what they were 
when Jesus left, but they witnessed Jesus doing miracles. They witnessed Jesus doing signs and wonders. The cripples were walking. The blind eyes were being restored in the mighty name of Jesus. And Jesus says, if I leave them, they are going to try and imitate me. When I leave them, they are going to try and do what I was doing. And Jesus says, but remember, boys, there is something that I have and you don't have. If you try out what I was doing, if you try to heal the sick, if you try to raise the dead, there is a power that you don't have and I want you to know you are more than able to do what I was doing in fact oh my God in fact I want you to know I don't only expect you to do what I was able to do but greater works shall you do how do you do greater works tarry in Jerusalem how do you perform miracles tarry in Jerusalem and the Bible says Tarry in Jerusalem because when you go out, the people that see you out there, they will think you are like me. The problems that are out there, they only know one power, which is what I'm about to release, which is what I'm about to deliver, which is what I'm about to dispatch. The Bible says, and ladies and gentlemen, let me take you to the cross. Because before Jesus sends the power of the Holy Ghost, he came to planet Earth and he preached a message. And he said to the world, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. He says, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. No challenge. Can I preach here? So when Jesus says, Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. He says, change your mind, for the kingdom of God is at hand. When he says, repent, he's saying, put away your evil ways. Isaiah chapter 1, verse number 15. Put away your evil ways. Get ready and wash yourself. When Jesus says, repent ye, he is saying to the church, beside him, leave your evil ways, put your evil ways away. My God, my God, can I bring you now to the cross? Because the cross of Jesus Christ, the bathroom here they could gaze, and then God gaze, wah, nero para Jesu, ano chenesa. He washes away all our sins. He washes away all our sins. Wana baba na mai, wakoma na neva skana, yanda uya na yopano, wanunga bisombachka, zinetina, wanunga reke, chimure. Can I preach now? My good Lord, Calvary is your bathroom. Calvary is your washing place. Calvary is your washroom. Let us use the blood. Ropara Jesu. Arizo Perisimba. Shakate. Rika Mandorobosha. Wash away your sins. Put your sins away and wash with the blood. Kanata Pam Chinjikwa. Power is redefined. Kanata Pakauvar. Power is redefined. Vaiwena Simba. Vakusorishaya. Vangala Sina Simba. Vakusorena Ro. Can I preach now? Vaimbokuroya. Power. 
is being redefined. And I want to challenge you when we talk about power right on the cross. When we talk about power, when we are at the foot of the cross, it washes away not only my sins, but also your sins. My good Lord, power is being redefined. Can I preach and tell you, power is changing hands. I decree as the prophet of the Lord, power is changing hands. As I wash, as I get washed, as I get cleansed, power is changing hands. Devil, hear me out. You were able to defeat me before I went to the cross. You were able to do what you want with me before I went to the cross. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost when you see me walk away from the cross when you see me move away from the cross I've been changed I've been washed I've been cleansed power of the Holy Ghost I feel that anointing I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost I feel the power when we wash ourselves Kana Ropalati Genza but Jesus looks at the disciples and he says, yes, you are washed. Yes, you are clean. But that's why Jesus, in the book of Luke, chapter number 24, verse number 9, the Bible says, you are going to be insured. You are going to be covered. The word endure means to be given the ability. The word endure. The word endure means to be clothed. The word endure means to put on. Can I decree to you that the Pentecost promise? Can I decree to you the promise of Pentecost? It's about your clothing. It's about your dressing. What is Jesus doing? I go to a common among a buriku and a panze one warimu Jerusalem one of Kuziwa Muri Venyam among a buriku and a panze one woman Jutia one of Kuziwa Muri Venyam among a buriku and a panze one Rom Samaria one of Kuziwa Muri Venyam as the kingdom Yamapinda in a mapekero I kingdom Yamapinda in a matkatai ladies and gentlemen my mind takes me back to the man called Elijah. He is a mantle, but Elijah is about to go. His Elisha says, give me a double portion of your spirit. And Elijah says to him, you can only wait. You can only watch me go. When I go, you are not to me now. The man promised somewhere, when I go to end, end, area where you end, Elisha, position yourself. Elisha, position yourself. The Bible says, Parker and Bakam Tarina, Eria Chienda, Parker and Bakam Tarina, Eria Chitusapia, Pukuyang Wioti, Anisham Shadem, Achoneki, Anokatan, Bachirake, Mayam Chene, Close me, Kingdom Dressing, Canada Vega Zomam, Vanotuana Panze. Vanona Zawasna Kumbona Elijah Aquin Elisha waits he is looking up and church of God keep gazing up church of God keep looking up he is about to send he is about to make an arrangement he is about to dispatch Vakribaga Dipedu Vasatu Asatu Anomwe Dino Reke Zanya Shaito Tso Pane Bachira Kudonetwa Dino Reke Zanya Shaito Tso Holy Ghost Clothe us now Holy Spirit Dress us now Holy Ghost Dress us now Kriga Buddha Panzap Tisiname Takashama Tiga Buddha Panzap Jerusalem, Yagatimirida, Anoda Kuana Gupeka, Jerusalem, Inoda 
Vakuena, Vakafeka. I make an announcement. God is about to do something. He's about to release. Oh, can I preach now? He's about to release. Kingdom attire. He's about to let go. Kingdom attire. He's about to let go. He's about to dispatch the promise of the Father. He's about to dispatch the promise of our Father. My Bible says, Believe us in the whole wide world. There is a promise. There is the Holy Ghost. There is the Holy Ghost. Ma pekero iwaya, ase nika ino. Ma pekero iwaya, dedeng. My Father, my Father, Kingdom Attire. My God, Basileia and the Messiah. Can I preach and close? Yata kufeka warume imbachka dedeng. Kana taone kwa panzapo. Mayeti na ino dedera. Kana taone kwa panzapo. Mayeti na ino chema. I decree now. Here's the sermon of God. Tevo, your time is up. Tevo, your time is up. Come on, Holy Ghost. Clothe me. Come on, Holy Ghost. Makate, Rikata Baya. When I preach like this, my spirit gets pregnant. I feel it now. There's somebody, another sound of my voice. God is about to release that promise over your life. Clothe me, Holy Ghost. Clothe me, Holy Ghost. Elijah, release your mantle. Elijah, release your mantle. Until that time when Elisha had the mantle of Elijah, he could not do any miracle. But I thank God, the moment I have the mantle, Jordan, watch out. The moment I hold my mantle, Jordan, watch out. The moment I hold my mantle, the devil is a liar. I disarm you now. The devil is a liar. I render you powerless. The devil is a liar. Shapeta, Rakata Bayandu, Remenda Kosha, Daime Yawe, Asina Kuya, Kunana Pita, Chirema, Ashai Simuka, Daime Yawe, Asina Kuya, Banana Pita, Vaira Mavari Makino. I pray to God that He releases the power of the Holy Ghost. I pray to God that He releases. <laughs> the kingdom dressing Basileia and the Messiah. I decree over your life Basileia and the Messiah. I decree now kingdom dressing. I decree now when you go out Mayachinangaizuone Kana Wabuda Matumonikazuone Kana Oenda Zulandangasukone I am clothed I am enveloped. I am covered. Promise, come down now. Holy Ghost, come down now. You are touching your people. The lame must feel you. The blind must feel you. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. Me am chene chitifukai tane tagu karatek chitifukai close us now. Holy Ghost. Basileia and Messiah. I decree kingdom attire. I decree the glory from above. Kana buruka omene. Nenyi kaino zwona. Kana buruka yeye. Wakati komba lano zwona. Basileia and Messiah. Come down Holy Ghost. Come down mantle of Elijah. Kana erish. Ango bata pachi. Ande ikuna jorotane. Kana church. Yazara no mweya. 
and the Jerusalem can I change yes I don't know where and the summary can I change yes I don't know where and the HUD Nekumukuma Onyika I decree the promise of the father I decree the promise of my master Basileia and Dimesia Marima Yamchene Overshadow me, <laughs> Holy Ghost. Cover me now, Holy Ghost. Cover our church, Holy Ghost. Cover our pastors, Basileia and Dimesia, Wano Dambacha, Yumambo, Kanama Arab, Vaina Mapekero Avo, Kanama India, Vaina Mapekero Avo, Kanama Purisa. I never forget our abo I know about authority right now I decree the authority of God right now I decree the power right now the power is the ability the authority is the right wherever you are going I feel the power wherever you are going I feel the power Whatever you are going to do from today onwards, I decree Basileia and Mesia. I decree Basileia and Mesia. Power of the Holy Ghost, clothe me now, clothe me now, clothe me now. Wanona Kanavandi Taris, Gava on the Deng, Gava on the Mari, Gava on the Masura. I release the power. I release the power. I release the power in the mighty name of Jesus. Your God is doing something already. Your God is giving you the promise. He's giving you the Holy Ghost. He's going to empower you. You are clothed. I pray that the Holy Spirit will clothe you. I pray that the Holy Spirit will cover you. Vano kuona, vareke kuona iwe, vareke kuona ropa, reko makarichi, vareke kuona ropa, reko kaberekwa, vareke kuona ropa, rino gutambuza, asina asina declare, mbachka yomwe ya, such za Elisha wekari, kana waibata, rola chorotani, kana wabata mwe yawe, rola chorotani, uyende kwa urugu na kuenda, kune wanga wakamiskwa, kwa makore nengua, Bata Pachiro, Bata Meo, Bata Promisio, Rola Jotani Shaka Lebo Sata, Kandi Amaho, Spirit of my Father, remember your people. We need to be clothed with kingdom attire. We need to be clothed. Pasley and measure kingdom clothing. Kingdom glory, kingdom power. I want to pray with you now. There are things that you were battling with, and you were telling yourself, How do I go about this? Receive the clothing from above. And like the disciples, you'll be able to handle. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my sister and my brother, those that have been listening to me, those that have been watching me. Release your power, Holy Spirit. Clothe your people. Clothe AFM. Clothe its pastors. Clothe its membership. All the believers, the body of Christ. Send your power. Send your power. And as I close, I want to challenge those of us. You have been hearing the gospel for so many times. And today is your day. And you are saying, I want to give my life to the Lord. Why don't you lift up your right hand wherever you are? And as you lift up your right hand, why don't you also put your left hand on your chest as you surrender your heart to the Lord? Close your eyes and pray after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for the word. I thank you for the freedom that came through the blood. I receive you, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. I want to make you Lord and Savior of my life. Wash away my sins. Write my name in the book of life. And as according to your will, clothe me with your power. 
clothe me with your glory, with the Holy Spirit. I receive you now and forevermore. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.